Trust's a holder. IBM Natiza. It's end of life. What should customers do about that? Well, it's a hard situation when your system you've been running for multiple years is end of life and you have to look for new options and alternatives. And there's also an opportunity, right? So, and there's a chance of looking at new value propositions, which, for instance, you guys have provided with Exadata, but it's a great opportunity for putting your whole next generation compute to the next level in the 21st century. So it gives customers the opportunity to basically move from an antiquated database appliance to essentially the flagship database infrastructure in the entire industry, Exadata. Well, that's, that's the situation when you typically bought hardware from premises that it's almost like a car. You drive it off a lot and it's only half of the value, right? So after one year, you're not going to have the best thing anymore, even from the same vendor, even if they don't go under. So you have aging hardware all the time. And ideally, you can make a wise decision where you're going to move beyond and help your business to leapfrog from performance and from a cost of ownership perspective. Yeah, we've seen companies who formerly ran Natiza systems migrate directly to Xdata's and have no issues whatsoever. Very seamless, very it's smooth transition. Customers will love to hear that. You know, on the IBM front, here's another question for you, Holger. IBM Power Systems. Mm -hmm. How come we never hear IBM senior executives talk about power systems? I never hear their CEO talk about power systems in any of the keynotes. Well, What's they, going on there? They don't want to talk so much about hardware. They talk a little bit about their mainframe, but not so much about the power systems, because really for IBM, the transformation is around AI, Watson, and then blockchain capabilities. That's the main threshold. And now, of course, hybrid cloud with the acquisition of Red Hat. So hardware is not the main topic headliner at IBM anymore. You know, the difference there, Holger, if you go to Oracle Open World, which we were recently at, mm -hmm. you go to Larry's speech, Larry's keynotes. What do you hear about? Exadata. Mm -hmm. You go to Juan Loez's uh, sessions. What's he talking about? Exadata. Mm -hmm. Customers look at the fact that Exadata is powering our public cloud, a $7 billion business at scale. Yep. They look at the fact that it's powering our clouded customer offering with Exadata Cloud Customer now on generation two. They look at the fact that we've had record years of sales in Exadata, you know, their 10th anniversary, and they say clearly this product is strategic. That's a distinct difference than when they look at, for example, what's happening with IBM. You barely see any references to power systems, Natiza's EOL. What is strategic to IBM? Red Hat? Or hybrid cloud with Red Hat is a strategic, multi-cloud support from that perspective. Um, the, the whole move to blockchain and related service to that and whatever's left of the Watson story around AI. That's the three main things we hear from IBM. Private cloud, what's the future of that one? IBM, oh, sorry, they call it IBM Cloud Private. I'm reversing that yeah. for their purposes. How does that compete with the other vendors out there? You had that in your research, mm -hmm. the context of your research yeah, no, report. I, IBM is one of the five vendors who compete in the next generation compute platform market, powered by Kubernetes, which is the case for most of the other vendors. And certainly if I need to run a private cloud, IBM Cloud Private is an alternative for me to run that infrastructure. Now, with the Red Hat assets, there's some interesting things coming in from a PaaS perspective, of OpenShift, one of the largest independent platform as a service parts to build software on top. So we'll see if companies for building the next generation applications will uh, will embark into more OpenShift versions now that's part of projects, now that's part of IBM. Any other recommendations for IBM customers out there who may be contemplating what to do about power systems or Natiza? Well, we always recommend if you have an existing system and it's paid for, especially if it's on premises, and still does the performance, keep using it. Look at what it costs you from a service, from a people perspective, and look what could be for your business. So challenge your existing vendors, what they can do better. And if you don't have good answers, look elsewhere.